You look in good shape. That's a muscle, isn't it? Stand back. <laughs> boo, boo. Initially, just try and hit the ball. Shut up, Andy Murray! I'm either disqualified or I lost. Yeah. <laughs> Andy Murray is a three-time Grand Slam winner, two-time Olympic gold medalist and Davis Cup winner. He's also a national hero and top 50 in the world, despite essentially being a bionic man. Me, on the other hand, I'm a comedian and presenter who hosts a very weird show on television where everyone shouts, take it off, take it off, at celebrities in elaborate costumes. But it is time here at the National Tennis Center to show everybody that I can beat Andy Murray. At something, not physically. I'm not a fighter. Here we go. Here he is. Warming up already, doing? I see. Yeah, I'm Preparing ready. Preparing yourself. <laughs> hey, man, how are you? I'm Joel. Good to see you, Matt. Nice, nice to, to meet see you. you. How, how are you, Andy? How's things? I'm Joel. Very well. Very well. How long have you been on that? Just, uh, just a Yeah, just a few minutes. I'm not sweating yet? <laughs> not yet, no. Not thinking I'm going to have to get too warm to, to beat your numbers, but... Whoa! OK. <laughs> OK, here we go. Have you been on one before? I've been on one that moves. Yeah. <laughs> Along the street. Never loses those static ones. <laughs> what are you going to put us through today? Uh, so we're probably going to do a bit of a power test on here, see how explosive your legs are. Oh. Uh, and then we'll probably put you up on the Versa Climber, which we hear you're a bit of an expert on, but we'll be the judge of that. Uh, we'll put no air quotes with that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And then finally, we're going to put you on the skier's edge, so just see you, what your skiing technique's like and uh, See what your slaloming's like. I don't know if you're going to be any good on that, but we'll, we'll soon find out. How do you feel? Uh, do, do my legs look powerful and these uh, they're pretty tight? Looks can be deceiving. You know, we never judge books by their covers. You yeah. know, so... Um, like, like, tense it? How like that? Yeah, well, there that you that's go. a muscle, yeah, isn't yeah, it? There's some, yeah, Is that there's a muscle? some bulk there, yeah. There's some you're bulk. Looking good, you look in good shape. Yeah. You sweating yet? You still not sweating? No, no, no. not yet. And these professional athletes. Okay, Joel, so what we're going to test now is your maximum power with your legs, basically, on the bike. So you're going to pedal hell for leather for six seconds, and the bike's going to tell us your peak power output, so as explosive as you can be. If it's of any comfort, it only lasts six seconds. Okay, so grip hold. How's, how's Andy doing it? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Did I do it? Okay. Not bad. 1,066 watts to Joel. 1066, Battle 12, of Hastings. That's what I was aiming for. 1,219. What? For Andy. Which is... Secretly living. Which is poor for him, actually. But. Yes, Andy, that's poor. <laughs> that is, that's poor for me, yeah. <laughs> My foot fell out the pedal. Yeah, my foot fell. I was doing it, so... Had it. <laughs> Did it single leg? He does still he did that it. single one leg. Yeah. One legged Andy Murray is better than okay. two legged Joel Domit. That is. This is just the beginning, I'll so don't lose up. heart. Don't lose heart. Let's see if we can improve on that. Okay, this sounds good. Seconds out, round two. Three, two, one, go. It was better. It was better. Come on, one out. It's like three seconds. 1,241 <sighs> watts versus 1,306 watts for Andy. Good effort. You certainly improved a lot. What happened in the first rep compared to this one? I don't know. I think... Nerves. Yeah, nerves. 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 Yeah, my, my foot slipped out the pedal. <laughs> 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 Okay, guys, on to test number two. This is the skier's edge. So Andy's used this for, uh, for some of his conditioning work. And the reason why we use it is that it actually creates the similar movements that you do in tennis, even though it doesn't necessarily look exactly like them. It's training your cardiovascular system, but with lateral movements. Mm. We're going to go 30 seconds, as hard as you can, without falling off. But don't worry, Andy's going to show you how to do it first, and then we'll get you up there and we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, let me just get it moving first. Okay. Right. Oh, you, 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 you yeah. Roll and start, and then um, I'll go three, two, one. Yeah. yeah. 
Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Three, four, five. What? Eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. 68. And time. <sighs> Oh, how was that? It's hard. Do you feel like a skier? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that tough. Great. It's tough. That's tough. You know who'd be really good at this? Djokovic. He would be. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he'd have that extra sort of stretch. Mobility, yeah, no. Mobility. <laughs> Straight. You'd yeah. lead him to be out here. <laughs> you know. Okay, there's no putting it off. It's your turn now. Okay, let me hear you. You're Lock really good at it, Andy. You're really good at it. No, I don't <laughs> want your hand, actually. Stand back, I don't need you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You might regret telling me that. Yeah. Can I be handy? Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, just get yourself get moving on it just to get the feeling of it, and then we'll start counting when we feel like at some point Does that count as a rep. Are showing <laughs> some level of competence on it. Not the test, job. Okay, the test. okay, sorry. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, Whoop. six, seven, eight, Whoop. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, 54. I'm getting it. 55. Oh, but that's time. That was pretty good. You got better as it went on. I felt like I was getting better. Unfortunately, we're only doing it once. So. No. <laughs> but that was that was good. Getting off the hardest. So yeah, I want my hand again. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, I don't know whether we're going to count that because essentially you weren't really going particularly deep. But it's up to Andy really if he wants to give you a score of 55. I, I think you deserve 55. Thank you. It's, it's not easy, and there's also there is the concern of actually falling off as it's well. Also, I mean, and you did all right. When I did it the first time, I was given a stick. Oh, really? Yeah, just to, yeah, so it didn't fall over, feel like basically, but we didn't, we didn't give you that luxury. Who knew that tennis players use a skiing thing to get better at tennis? You don't see, I guarantee, any professional skiers like playing tennis to get better at skiing. Okay, guys, for our third and final gym test, we've saved the best for last. It's the Versa Climber. We use this a lot for our off-court conditioning because it uses the legs and arms, so it gets the heart rate really high and gets the lactic acid in your blood really high as we, uh, as we go, go through. So we're going to do a 60-second test on this. The goal is to go as flat out hard as you can. Joel, seeing as you said you're a bit of an expert on this machine, I think you should go first and show Andy how it's done. I did not say that, by the way. I'm not I'm you not said you did classes and everything. I've done a class. <laughs> I've done classes in French GCSE. It doesn't make me an expert. <laughs> so if you can climb on up. The hardest was definitely the Versa climber. And I feel like I did push Andy to the limit, you know? Fast as you can. Don't worry, you're not going to hit the ceiling. It worked. Thank you, Andy. A little faster if you can. That's 30 seconds gone. God. OK. I'm going. Keep going, fast as you can. Going, you're dropping off a bit now. Oh, shut up, Andy Murray. 20 seconds left. Do not stop. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Oh. Oh. What we got there? Oh. I can't see the score. Oh, did. 251. 251. That's pretty good. Oh. 251 feet. I could see Andy just like, yeah, he's got it. I was worth it. 
What's my sound of going? Oh. Not an easy one. I can see why you find the interview so hard after a tennis match. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Okay, so 250 to beat. Oh, God. And I'm, so, I'm not sure I'm not sure if Andy's got this. Oh, he's got such long legs. Unbelievable, his head's touching the ceiling. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yep. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, he looks good. What did I have to beat? 250. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Come on, Andy! Oh, it feels so weird not saying that at centre court. <laughs> good pace, that's fine. Yeah, good pace. Good pace. Good pace. That's it. Oh. Early left. Nearly there. Nearly there, Andy. What do you think, Joel? Is he going to beat you or not? Come on. Come on. Keep that pace. Keep 15 going. seconds. 15 seconds. That's what I just said. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Go on, I'm doing. Go on, I'm doing. Right, right going. Three, two, one. And time. 257. 257. What did I get? 250, I think, wasn't it? Damn it. <laughs> That's not easy. You're good. Oh. That's not easy. Good, that was really good stuff. Oh, I think oh, it's brutal that. Yeah, it was really brutal, wasn't it? Oh. Not bad. I beat you by six six verses. <laughs> I don't know what the metric is, but he's famously a competitive person. He gets very annoyed. I think you just said that you beat me by six verses. Well, you don't, it was the you, other way around, I you think. You definitely beat me. You beat yeah. me by six verses. If he had a racket in his hand, I think he would have broken it. So what we're going to do, the first of our on-court tests, is you're going to move around the cones, I'm going to feed you a forehand, and then you're going to smoke your forehand at the cones and the targets down at the other end of the court, OK? We've got 30 seconds score as many cones as you can, if any. And he's going to go first and show you how it's done. OK, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Good movement, that. Oh! <laughs> first time he's, he's impressed with that. No, oh, I've moved. That's basically it. This is oh, no. seemingly humiliating for me and you. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Don't hit the net. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, oh, that was that. Time. Well done, Andy. Two, two. How long have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> Two's not bad. Two's, Two's not, not bad. bad. Two's not I'm going to go and move those cones back in position for you. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really, I learned that he's a sensitive soul. He was very, you know, he was, he, was, he was gentle with me. I think I've played tennis once in my life. Some excuse that. That is a pretty big <laughs> excuse. That is a pretty big excuse. Three, two, one, let's go. You like that? It's great. Yeah, Here we go. go. Let's go, let's go. All right, back through the cones. Good, good start, good start. Zero. Okay. Zero. Here we go. Just testing you. I'm sharking you. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. That got it. hit oh. my so close. <laughs> So close. Go, go, go. No one said you're not allowed to bounce before the net. Hit the ball up, hit the ball up. There we net. go. Ooh. It's going over the net at least. This one is going. No. God damn it. <laughs> one more. All for five. Oh. oh. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Finish. finish on that one. Finish on that one. <laughs> that was a good shot. <laughs> finish on that one. That was that was very good, good that time. Yeah. What we'll do there. <laughs> is we'll edit a close-up of the cone being hit over. We'll edit that in in a different shot. Can't believe it. Three out of five. <laughs> Final test, Joel. Having a bit of fun this time around. We're going to test you out on the ball machine, see how you fare. 30 seconds again. Let's see how many of these targets you can even get 
close to hitting. Okay, so I'm just trying to hit those targets there. Any, anything, anything will do. Try and hit so anything. Even us will try do. Get it in. Initially, yeah. just try and hit the ball. Yeah. And yeah. then it's a good start. We'll, we'll see like if it. we can hit some targets. I like it. You need to gonna have to go a bit further back. Bit further, okay, a bit further back. Yeah. You saw that that moment. Yoda looks at like Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, I can teach you some stuff. I'm all over the place. I'm crabbing. Okay, here we go. Oh, God, I spin. Okay, I see your game. You like that? You like that, Bohan? Oh. Can we get that one? Go, 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 go. Nice try. I'm going to get it. This is getting worse. Nice is try. Humiliating. No, Oh, how does it so weird? Go, 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 you can get that one. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Careful, careful. Last two, last two. Here we go. Oh, done. That's, that's great. That's good. Yes, in your face, stinger machine. That's what you get for making me. Someone stop it. Stop it before he gets one in the face. That was the target I was looking for. <laughs> okay, that's the end of our challenges. I've got to be honest, predictable but disappointing results from Joel, unfortunately. But we did have a lot of fun. We had and fun. I, did, I did feel like you tried your best. I, I, really, I really had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for having me, boys. Andy, what did you think? I thought you did well, to be honest. I did think you, I did, you, you went for it in the gym. Yeah. On the court, probably not quite as good. Yeah. Um, I've played with a few comedians over the years. I'd probably put you middle of the road. Oh. I'd like Jimmy Carr was probably yeah. slightly better. Yeah. Ramesh mm -hmm. was he's bottom of yeah. bottom drawer. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be somewhere in the middle with Rob Beckett. I, I mean, that's how all of my comedy reviews are too. So yeah. that's like where I base myself. <laughs> Jimmy, you can't class him because he's the only one out of all of us who can afford his own court. <laughs> so. It's difficult, isn't it? It is hard, yeah. Are people, are people like, come on, Andy. They can't do it themselves. No. They don't know how really hard it is. But they will after seeing this. After seeing this, they'll be like, if Joel can't do it, <laughs> you know, I'm here to make you look good, just like Tim Henman did before you. <laughs> Oh, he was here today. Shame, it's a shame he didn't hear that. <laughs>